All right, a couple of solar panels. This is actually a solar suitcase. Right now, I just got sitting on top of a, some kind of Harbor Freight rack. This is uh, kind of my semi-permanent charging solution for my RV. Um, it sits out here, it's at the end of my driveway. You can see the RV's pretty much in the shade. and get this panel out here in the sun, and that way I can go in and I can turn on the air conditioning and turn on the lights and run the battery down, and then this thing just keeps it charged back up. Um, and I don't have to stretch a cord across the driveway to plug into the house, although I can. I've got a, a video for that plug on the channel. I've got a video for building the suitcase, which again, it doesn't look like a suitcase right now. But uh, that's a very neat, uh, neat build. I had to check that out. But the jankiest thing I have ever done is the way I connect this panel to the RV. And I built an extension cord originally because I knew I was going camping at a place where the, again, the RV was going to be sitting in the sun. And I needed a long extension cord to get to uh, put my solar panels out uh, into the sun. And it was just after China crud. And I could not buy some PV wire or some uh, any type of wire uh, that would be sufficient for this to save my life. So I had to invent a method and I thought, well, I'm going to do this for one trip and that's it. But it's been sitting out here 24 seven for two, two and a half years and has gone with me on trips and it is still working. So now I'm not so ashamed to put it on video. So what is my janky setup? that ended up costing me no dollars instead of probably a hundred dollars to uh to build a uh, an extension that's 30 feet long let's take a look and here's my janky solar suitcase extension and you can probably tell this is just an extension cord and it was about a 50 foot cord one of the ends was burnt so i need to replace it anyway i just cut off both ends and then cut the cord in half so that gives me effectively a, a 25 foot cord and then I've added some a uh, little bit more cord onto it and make it about 30 feet but this makes an excellent solar suitcase uh, extension um, regular extension cord is designed to sit out in the weather um, it stays very flexible uh, regular PV wire that you use uh, like you've got some roof mounted solar it is stiff as a board and you can't really coil it up and it's, it's hard to use I mean I do use some of that for uh, sometimes but if I need a really long cord I can put it together with this one but uh, this stays really flexible it's weather resistant and sun resistant and but actually it's not big enough wire it needs to be at least 10 gauge and this wire is 14 gauge. So it's got three 14 gauge leads. And if you combine smaller wire, there's a formula for making uh, or for figuring out what gauge they end up being. And I'll put a link um, for that uh, calculator I use uh, down in the description down below. But ba basically uh, using that calculator, 14 gauge, three 14 gauge wire, combined to be a nine gauge. So that's a little bit larger than the 10 gauge I was hoping for to run that distance. So that turns out to be a good thing. And then I had uh, the only way at the time, again, China crud and I couldn't buy much anything I needed to, to use where I had some four position, these uh, Wago type connectors. And uh, so I got the three lines for the extension cord. And then I've got one more wire coming out and this is an anderson connector that plugs into my rv i've got a uh, a video on the channel for that so um, uh, how i set that plug up uh, again pretty nifty uh idea so check that out i'll put a link in the description down below but at the time i built this again two and a half years ago or so i only had 12 gauge wire and i again didn't intend to use it more than once or twice and then i intended well i should replace that 12 gauge with some tin and I never did that either. And then I dropped this plug and stepped on it and broke the uh, Anderson connector. So I thought, well, now's the time to at least replace the 10 gauge. And this was all taped up and I untaped it. And uh, then I started thinking I should be doing a video on this. And after I took, tore this all apart and uh, got it almost back together. So I haven't taped it back up yet, 
but again this has been sitting outside 24 7 for two two and a half years and uh, you down the wire there's no rust uh, there's no corrosion uh, the connector is still in, in fabulous shape. So again, I would have never put this on the channel before just because it it's just seems too janky to be functional. But it has survived the test of time. So I'm pretty pleased with that. So I'm going to keep on using this thing. I will tape all this back up again and uh, connect this up. I guess I'll show you one more quick uh, uh, vid in a minute when I finish up putting this all back together and taping it up of a hook back to that panel and charge in my RV but but a uh, a desperation move has turned out to be quite quite effective and it cost me near zero dollars because I had the cord and I had uh, some connectors and I had all this stuff uh, where if I were to go out and try to buy a, uh, a connection cord for a solar suitcase 30 feet it probably cost me a hundred dollars or more so a uh, great way to save a hundred bucks and it has stood the test of time. And then there's the connections taped up. That's how they've survived for two, two and a half years out in the weather. So I'll continue to do it that way and just be proud of my janky that was free and has worked for that amount of time. Okay, here's my finished solar uh, panel extension that I built for free um, plugged into my uh, connector up front and that's uh, been changed out to uh, some Anderson connectors I have a video for that on the channel if you want to check that out um, I have uh, just a command hook there just kind of supports the weight keeps it from pulling on the cord and then for right now just parked in the driveway it goes comes down all the way under the my rig and then back out to my panel and then last but not least here is uh, the uh, output so hopefully we can see that not too much reflection but about 161 watts out of the 200 watt panels today so we're charging and we're uh, enough output to maintain got a little ways to go been uh, down from the chargers for a, a week or so before I fix my broken uh, extension cord but uh, please like and subscribe lots of good solar videos on the channel as I said reference several um, use for this setup and there are uh, all kinds of other RV goodies on there so check us out like and subscribe we'll see you next time